Jerry, we kind of have a little problem here. Okay. You have some hours of sleep. What's that? You have some hours of sleep. No, I need to get back to my kids in South Carolina. Well then, let's pick up this load heading back home today. It is beautiful out here. Cold, but beautiful. Only 34 degrees now, so I mean, it's not the teens, not the negatives. So we're gonna head up here, pick up some uh, plastic cups, 20,000 pounds. Let's get back home to these kids. All right, fabric cow. Yes, sir. You're six six eight, right? Yes, sir. All right, we kind of have a little problem here. Okay. You have some hours of sleep. What's that? You have some hours of sleep? No, I need to get back to my kids in South Carolina. I lived there in Piedmont, so the broker told me to get here before ten p.m. and I'd be okay. C. H. Robinson. I'm forklift certified too. I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> right about now. Okay. It's take the help. <laughs> but Sue Ronnie there, you gotta continue doing that. But this will only take me about an hour. Is it, it's like it's a bunch of stuff. Oh, I thought it was raw plastic is what he said. It's, yeah. But see the problem with that is yeah. this has no ship time and they're supposed to put a ship time in. Okay. If they did that. It would have been caught earlier, and we would have already had it assigned out. You had it picked out, you mean? Like well, right? we would have had it assigned out and been waiting on you, picked and loaded. But unfortunately, everybody has a full workload and... All over the place. Okay, so I, you get can, Ronnie unloading him. Just get 38. Let me see what we got here. Well, what I could do is have Ronnie load that. I'll finish picking what I'm working on now, and then we can tag team that. You got to, do you have some time with me so I can get you out of here? Oh yeah, I got time. I just, I would like to get going before the morning. Like, I got about six hours left on my clock. I'd like to at least get down to 81 tonight if I can. So. Hang out here. Let me see what I nope, can no worries. figure something out. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, my friend. If you can back into door 22, drop the trailer, stay in front of it. My next available person, I'm going to have them pick. It is going to be a little bit of time, yeah. though. Couple, like two, three hours? Something like that. And then just wait green light, come back up here? They'll come out and let you know where okay. your bells are, which will be right in there. Okay, 22? Door 22. Thank you, man. No problem. I don't know if it's just like um, this facility. The other two times I came here also, same thing. Like they just, they weren't, maybe they have like a dedicated route that they're used to doing that. They don't like the live loads. But uh, same kind of question, same kind of thing happened the last two times. So luckily they're taking us because we drove, what, 80 miles the wrong way to get here. So let's get these doors open and get into 22. Well, we got loaded. It's uh, 10 o'clock. Took them about two and a half hours, but I'm okay with that. But situations like that, don't be mean about it. Just be like, look, no, I can't wait. I got a little bit of clock left. I want to get out of here. Get it out of these icy roads and stuff. Uh, what's this guy doing in the middle of the road? But um, yeah, we're gonna get down to truck stop, get some sleep, and then get on the road again tomorrow. But that place, Fabrical, man. I just every time it's like they don't want to load you. But they, but the guys that actually came out of the docks and talked to me, I'm like, load me. The super nice, super nice people. But the people in the office just, uh, I guess they don't really have to share the same enthusiasm. I don't know. Either way, let's get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Slept at exit 205, the White Travel Center again, or Orchard Park, whatever you want to call it. It is busy. It's just past noon now, and uh, we're like 1 o'clock, and it is uh, lunchtime, so it's busy. Let's get back to these babies. A little, uh, about 350 miles left to go. Thanks for the good sleep. Slept like a baby.
don't pick up real good in the camera, but those trees are beautiful. They're all full of ice, little icicles, so the light's shining through them like a chandelier. Might have to stop up here and throw the drone up and check them out, but hopefully they show up on here too. Look at that. The sun's shining on them just right. We'll all be melted by later on today, but that looks pretty right now. Making good time, almost to 77, coming down. Probably be able to see the boys at bath time, and then see you guys for Saturday Night Live, 9 p.m. Oh, those are pretty trees. I'm gonna keep this going until it stops. That's awesome. Beautiful day, 32 degrees out, so the sun's probably melting that, but uh, it looks gorgeous right now. We got it reflecting off the snow in the middle of the highway, too. Whiteville, 42 miles. That's where we're going. Catch it down to 77. Hey, that's pretty. God's beauty. God gave us some cold, but man, he gave us some beauty after. Look at those trees, that's so cool. Next place we stop, we'll see if we can get a little drone footage of them. I think this will show up pretty cool too. That's pretty. out to me saying he really need to put somebody in that Volvo. I know the truck. I rebuilt the engine with my own two hands. Uh, let it make money for you and help somebody else out to get out here in this in this market where you can actually get paid for for driving your truck. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna vet it. It'll be a couple months out, maybe two or three. I really want to make sure the new truck is on the up and up and everything is um, ready for me to trust it and drive it around before I uh, let somebody else take the Volvo and. I wait for the in frame on the K-Dub. Because <laughs> you, know, you know that's coming. Look how pretty that is. I wish I could show you to the left, guys. It's just a wide open. You can just look down on North Carolina. Beautiful. But uh, yeah, we'll close this video out. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed those trees and the little icicles on them. And T-Dub's now go live at 9 o'clock. I think she wants to go get food, so we'll see where we end up going. And for all you new guys out there becoming drivers, when you're on a grade like this, I'm only 20,000 pounds in a box, which means they call the, the drive and trailers boxes foot swing door dry van is what you call those trailers if you're new to the industry and uh, stabbing your brakes so I don't really have to right now I'm still in 10th gear my jakes are holding me at 63 miles an hour uh, but if I was heavier it'd be pushing me a little harder and you want to stab your brakes don't just keep your foot on the pedal don't always keep your foot on the pedal that's just going to heat them up and it's called brake fade and it's called eventually smoking your brakes where you've got so hot that you don't have any brakes anymore so that's what those runaway run truck ramps are there for so that's just a little bit of knowledge I want to shoot it to you guys for coming out here. Might save you in a, in a bad situation sometime. Man, it's windy. I can I'm feeling that push from, from right to left. Everybody's hitting their brakes up here. So we'll stab our brakes three times, and then we'll downshift to ninth gear. Let the jakes hold on a little more. 
Okay. God bless you guys. Thanks for coming in with me today. And we'll see you at 9 o'clock. And then uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to get some furniture if you want to come along for that. Down in Columbia, South Carolina. Take care. God bless. Check out JustTrucking.shop if you are interested in old body style Chevy square bodies that have uh, LS1s dropped in them. All the details are on the website, JustTrucking.shop. It's how you support it. Now you get a free entry to the giveaway. We will be giving away that truck in December. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Or actually, see you tonight.